Hey guys, Spina Dude here, and today we are going to be taking a look at a Carnegie figure. So let's have our co-host Marvin bring it out. Thank you, Marvin. So today, guys, we are going to be taking a look at this. It is the Carnegie Ichthyosaurus. If you've been staying tuned to the channel, you'll remember that we got this figure during our 2016 Christmas Spectacular. A big thank you to EverythingDinosaur.com for their awesome service and fast shipping, as always, when I ordered this model. So without further ado, guys, let's dive into the review. Before we take a closer look at the figure, here are a few quick facts about Ichthyosaurus itself. Ichthyosaurus communis means fish lizard. It was a fish-like marine reptile that lived in the Cretaceous period of what is now Europe. Hundreds of specimens have been unearthed, including some with skin impressions and some with smaller Ichthyosaurus inside the larger ones. This is proof that these marine reptiles gave live birth instead of laying eggs. The young would come out tail first to prevent them from drowning underwater. Ichthyosaurus were piscivores, meaning they fed on fish, but some remains show that their diet included squid as well. So without further ado guys, let's start taking a closer look at this awesome marine reptile. So here is the Carnegie Ichthyosaurus. It's hard to believe that this 2010 model is over 7 years old now. I remember seeing this at a time when it was first released in a catalog when I was younger, and this figure always really appealed to me and I finally have it 7 years later. For first impressions, I must say that this is probably one of the most visually appealing representations of Ichthyosaurus for me. Sitting back and just looking at it, it just looks really lifelike and stunning. The sculpt on this figure is done beautifully, and I love the addition of the ammonite in inside the jaws, which is an extra little thing that just adds a lot to the overall piece. The ammonite shell is detailed really nicely. I love the black dots going around the spirals. The head on this ichthyosaurus is done beautifully. You can see all the needle-like teeth inside the jaws there, as well as the nostrils carved out on the snout and the ear on the back of the head. Now unfortunately, some of the paint on my model was scraped off when I received it, but if we flip over to the other side, you can see the eye has been done in a wonderful gold color, which gives it a natural reflective look. Now there isn't much detail on this ichthyosaurus model because marine reptiles would have smoother skin, but the choice of colors really bring it to life overall. The mix of the black, gray, white, and light yellow colors are without doubt based off of a common dolphin, and I think it fits this ichthyosaurus beautifully. It looks so exotic, but naturalistic at the same time. I really like the addition of the black spots in some areas on the body. I think that really adds a lot, and I also really like how the flippers are framed with some black markings. Alright, so for my overall thoughts on this figure, I think it is absolutely beautiful. There isn't a ton to discuss with this one, I just think it is really well done, and it just sort of speaks for itself when you sit back and look at it. My two favorite things about this figure have to be the colors and the addition of the ammonite inside the jaws, which again is just an extra little thing that adds a lot to the model. So great job to the sculptor of this ichthyosaurus. This has to be one of my favorite marine reptile figures now. So you're probably wondering just how big this figure is, so Marvin, bring out the ruler. Thank you, Marvin. All right, we've got our trusty flexi ruler now, so let's give this ichthyosaurus a measure. So in terms of the length from the tip of the snout all the way to the tip of the tail, we are looking at about eight and a half inches. And in terms of the height at the highest point, which is the top of the tail here, we are looking at about two inches. For comparison, here is the Carnegie Ichthyosaurus next to the Safari Limited Plesiosuchus. If you want to see the review for this figure, link will be down below in the description. These two marine reptiles are actually from the Jurassic period of England, and I think they look very nice on display with each other. So make sure you guys go check out Safari Limited's Plesiosuchus, it's an awesome figure. Up next for comparison, here is the Carnegie Ichthyosaurus next to the 2017 Safari Limited Tylosaurus. If you want to see the review for this figure, link will be down below in the description. I love the choice of colors on both these figures, and I think they look great on display with each other. So make sure you guys go check out Safari Limited's new Tylosaurus. It's a beautiful figure of the Cretaceous Mosasaur. And finally for comparison, here is the Carnegie Ichthyosaurus next to the 2017 Safari Limited Chronosaurus. If you want to see the review for this figure, link will be down below in the description. These two marine reptile figures scale up to each other quite nicely, and I think they look great on display with each other. So make sure you guys go check out Safari Limited's new Chronosaurus. It's an awesome figure of the Pliosaurid. 
Well, there we go, guys. That was today's look at the Carnegie Ichthyosaurus. I think this figure is beautifully done. I love the color scheme and the addition of the ammonite, and I definitely recommend trying to get this figure, especially if you're a fan of marine reptiles. If you want to get this figure for yourself, they are starting to become hard to come by because the Carnegie line is retired, but I recommend heading on over to www.everythingdinosaur.com if they have any more in stock. So anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Also leave a comment telling me what you think of this model. So thank you so much guys for watching, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Take care, and bye bye